So I've just finished talking to a lovely woman who's college chaplain, as opposed to university chaplain like I talked to last week. And so I was talking about her college chaplaincy and what she does and my journey of faith again. And she was very encouraging. Um, and uh, we also talked about her police chaplaincy, how she goes in and talks to them very pastorally and thing. So yeah, in a very interesting chat and she's going to let me know if there's anything you know, that comes up that I can come and have help with or just go to. Yeah, very encouraging. Uh, I'm now, I'm going to go see um, university chaplain number two. Um, see what he has to say and whether I can do anything to help out with them. Yeah, it's just really nice to chat about. It's always nice when I meet new people and going over my story of faith, I generally go find new things in it, you know? Like what, you know, why I'm interested in chaplaincy was uh, something that came up today and, and actually I started expressing things like uh, it's important to me, you know, things like the circus spirit thing, it's important to me to find people who don't have a spiritual outlet and are put off by church um, and to give them an insight into what religion can be rather than what they see religion to be, uh, which is obviously very negative often, um, you know, based on the portrayal of the media and things. So yeah, that was a new insight into myself. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll uh, let you know how the next one goes. So I just finished my chaplain day. Told you about the first one. Second one. First one today, second one in general. She was lovely. And then I talked to the third one. Uh, who's university chaplain, who's very academic, very academic. He, I mean, he was doing a doctorate uh, based on his work. Something about virtue ethics in chaplaincy, I don't know. And then I went back and talked to the first one again, uh, who I talked to last week. Not first today, I was woman. Keep up. <laughs> it was interesting seeing them back to back uh, as, a, as a threesome because they're also very different, you know, different approaches and different ministries. I think I was talking about it with the one I went back to and he was like, of course, it's a very, it's like any ministry. It's so individual orientated. And I think that's very much true. You know, each minister in whatever capacity they're, they're doing imprint themselves inevitably. But they're all very nice people. And, you know, they all, there was a lot of the same themes, you know, well-being, pastoral support, as well as university politics and funding. So I'm going to be helping the um, first one I talked to with a little project uh, of Mar uh, Marxian research. Mm, I suppose you could call it that. Basically, he wants to find out what more can the chapters be doing. Um, but he, you know, saw me as an opportunity to have somebody else do it who isn't a student, who isn't him. Because uh, obviously getting feedback on yourself is normally quite... Uh, embarrassing and um, not accurate. So yeah, hopefully um, I'll be able to help them do that. I'm good at talking to strangers, so... Uh, I, I actually said something about having doubts about, you know, uh, or being, being, what was the word I used? Uh, being daunted. And he seemed to think I meant um, being daunted about a finding students, because I have to go around the campus and uh, get people to come talk to me, and then be talking to them and, and facilitating conversation. I was like, no, 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 that's not what I'm daunted by. I'm daunted by the possibility of doing all that and in some way failing, you know, no one turning up or the conversation not being particularly helpful. He's like, oh, don't, it doesn't matter if anyone, no one turns up. Don't worry about it, as long as you have fun. And it was interesting because when he thought that I meant I was worried about talking to strangers, he's almost launched into this thing about, well, you know, ministers need to be able to talk to strangers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, I, that's not something I'm worried about. Anyway, yeah, good day. Good day and uh, bearing fruit.